In question 10, we had to find the purpose of the round and something mask line in the DACP office. Okay, now for the purpose of the round and something mask is that the round line indicates the client on which default round, mainly giving them in the instruction on which round they should use, like in the default cell, when they want to send a message. While the cell name line instructs the client on which cell name it should use. As seen here in Wireshark, we have a subnet math and the router in the offer. And so, question 11 is asking us, which on the footnote that we use today, in the ACP trade known in foot 2, the footnote 2, the ACP service offers a specific IP address to the client, seen also in question, seven above, question 8 above. In the calling response to the first server offer method, does the client accept this IP address? And what is responding in the client requesting method, um, requesting address? We'll look at that in a bit. Alright, question 11. So, we already read the question, so what we need to do is find Wireshark. As you see here in the request, in one of the lines, we have the requested IP address, which is 192.168.1.1.0.1. So, we could say to this question, the IP address is accepted in from the client toward the first message, which is given the request message, and the response to the IP address is to accept to accept it in the offer method due to the client requesting that specific message. As being shown in here, it's requesting it. Now, we'll move on to question 12 to 14. And for question 12, we need to explain the pivot of the least time and how long is the least time of our experiment. Okay, now for question 12, we need to explain the pivot of the least time and how long the least time in our experiment. Alright, for the least of time or the purpose, it to specify the amount of time in the DHCP server. Can use that specific IP address to invite before being assigned to another client when it is being released. If the DHCP um, server does not release the specific IP address, then the IP address cannot be assigned to another client. And so let's open our Wireshark to see uh, the least of time of our experiment, my time. And an IP address, the least time I have is was H6400S, or one day for short. So we write that. And then we'll work on the question 13 and 14 later. Okay, now what is the purpose of DCP H, DACP release method? Okay, now the purpose of the release message is to release an IP address back to the server, the ADV server. Does the DACP server issue and acknowledgement of receipt of the client DHCP request. So let's look at Wireshark. And here is the acknowledgement. This here, the client MAC address, as you're seeing here, this number is 0 f And so we write that it has received a receive acknowledgement of the client DACP request, which is the number. Now, what will happen if the DAC, if the client DACP release message is lost? Okay, now if the, if the message is lost, then the client will have to send a release me message to cancel the lease on the particular IP address. Well, the client will stop sending the message back, meaning it acknowledges the message. However, the server cannot reassign the IP address until the least time from the client is over with the particular IP address. As shown in the Wireshark here. Which is... Hold on, I know this is here. Around... I think I'll show you in, um, in a later video where it is. Which will be shown right here saying Magic Cookie DATP. Yeah, that would be the one when you try to uh, um, send a release message to cancel on the lease on that particular IP address. No. Because no, this is the release message. We see acknowledgement, this one, on the IP address. This one just helps to 
so uh, when that I the DHCP like shown here says to know when the message is already terminated I believe but again I could be wrong in this one and this one just the receive message basically anyway we'll do a part 14 all right question 14 says clear the boot p filter from your wireshark window where any rp packet sent or received during the dhcp packet exchange period so explain the purpose of the arp packet so let's go to wireshark let's cross out boot p and yes there are a lot of arp packets but since here they were being sent so then it's on this one the I and how you know that it said the target IP address and the IP address 192.168.1.101. So then we say there were ARP request messages being sent during the DHCP pack exchange period. The private, okay, and would any and what's the private. Uh, the parent of the AR packets, also known as address resolution program, is to make sure, no, is to track an IP address back to a physical server in a local area network. Before an IP address is offered to the client, the DHCP server must make an ARP request for that particular IP address while making sure that IP address is not already in use by another client server. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you and have a good time. No, have a good day. No, good time.